engineering graduate who have competitiveness, good competencies, and have noble characters. With the missions, one, to organize the education program with complete facilities and competent teaching staff. Two, to carry out research and apply technology for the community. Three, to organize community service activities. Four, to develop a good cooperation and networking to increase the graduates' competitiveness. Currently, MEBE has 33 professional lecturers, researchers, staff, and various expertise, and assisted by two administrative staff and six professional technicians. As facilities, MEVE has eight laboratories with qualified equipment, staff offices, comfortable classroom, library with a collection of reference books and scientific journals, student association office, cafeteria, and student lunch with a comfortable green garden and others. In the fabrication laboratory, Lecturer students can study and conduct research on sheet metal forming and welding technologies. This laboratory provides some qualified equipment such as 1. ACDC SMAW and GTAW welding machine with 11 kVA capacity. 2. Controllable hydraulic cutting machine which can cut 8 mm thick plates. Four point five QVA spot welding machine, which can weld one point two millimeter thick plates. Four steel blending machine for a plate thickness of three millimeters and a width of nine hundred millimeters. The next is machining laboratory. It provides conventional and semi-conventional mechanical machine, such as 1. Maximum lathe machine to make 60 cm shaft with max speed of 1100 revolution per minute. 2. Vertical milling machine with traverse length of 40 cm and maximum tools diameters of 16 mm. 3. Horizontal milling machine with some tools like dividing heads, cutter modules, slab milling, slotting, and grooving. To study non-conventional machine, an EVE poses CNC laboratory with some equipment such as 1. CNC filler VMP40A with 1 meter displacement length and speed of 10,000 revolution per minute. printer Felix Pro 2 machine to print objects with a height of 30 cm. 3. MCO TU2A and TU3A CNC machine with movement accuracy up to 0.01 mm and a maximum feeding power of 1 kN. MEVE provide 40 computers in the engineering design laboratory with high specification. Students can design product prototypes here, develop algorithm and coding, and use CFD software for numerical analysis. For machine structure analysis, MEVE provides construction laboratory with some equipment, 1. Shear rod test equipment 2. Steel truss load test to determine the stress of material with a maximum load of 60 newton. In the energy conversion laboratory, 
some equipments can be used for learning and research activities, such as 1. Hydraulic and Pneumatic Trainer Kit 2. Bomb Calorie Matter to measure the calorie content of the fuel material. 3. Material Analysis and Testing MEVE provides a materials laboratory with some equipment such as 1. Double disc grinder and surface polisher with adjustable rotating speed 2. Brinel, Vickers and Rockwell hardness testing device with a maximum capacity of 3000 kg force 3. Impact testing device with a Sharpie method and a maximum load of 800 kg force 4. Microscope for 1000 times magnification 5. Provide projector CCV 1401426 for 20 times magnification 6. The Hoffman furnace with a maximum temperature of 1000 degrees Celsius the last one is Manufacture Laboratory with some equipment 1. Universal Testing Machine for Bending Tensile and Fetish Test with load capacity of 50 kN 2. Ultrasonic Flow Detector for Undersurface Material Damage Testing 3. Magnetic Particle Inspection for Analysis of Metal Surface Defect due to Welding Machining Process Okay, thank you very much for watching our profile. Professor, can yes. you hear my voice? Yes, good. Okay. It's clear. Okay, you can uh, try to share your, your slide. Okay. Is it uh, visible or not? Okay. 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 Prof, I okay, can good. see. Mm. Okay. Good. Okay. So I. Mm. Okay. Okay. I close. Okay. 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 Well, before we start, uh, I want to deliver uh, Mr. Uh, Professor Shahril, our editor in chief, cannot join today because he is in, in not a good condition, Professor. So, she send his regard to you and also the, the audience. Okay, Professor? Yes. Hello? Hello? Hello, yeah. Can we start? Oh, can you? St I, I I can start now. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So my talk is around forty minutes, right? Okay. 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 So if everything I, is yes. okay. Mm -hmm. I think so. Okay. So can we start, Professor? Yes. Okay. Break on. Can you share my slide? Yeah, clearly. Okay, so. Oh, okay. Maybe uh, we will we will have uh, the opening first, professor. Okay, usually like that. So I I, I stop. I can stop my slide. Yeah, you maybe you can stop your uh, your your slide. Okay, we will open officially. 
Good day. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Your Excellency, Rector of Universitas Negeri Padang, Dean of Faculty of Engineering, Dr. Fahmi Rizal, uh, Head of Department of Mechanical Engineering, Purwantono, and uh, uh, Minister of uh, Education, uh, Head of Research Institute and Community Service, Mr. Yohandri, PhD, Representative of Editor in Chief, because our Editor in Chief cannot uh, join uh, today. Uh, Mr. Rahmat Aziz Nabawi and Honorable Speaker, Professor Dr. Masato Tominaga. Lecturers uh, from various universities in Indonesia and also abroad, across the nation, fellow students, ladies and gentlemen. It is my pleasure to be an MC and moderator for the symposium organized by Techno Mechanic Journal, Department of Mechanical Engineering, Faculty of Engineering, Universitas Negeri Padang. Let me introduce myself. My name is Sri Rizky Putri Priman dari PhD, uh, but you can call me Kiki. On behalf of Techno Mechanic Journal and this uh, the committees, I would like to welcome you to this symposium. We appreciate you for joining uh, us today. To opening this symposium, we will come our representative uh, from our editor in chief, Mr. Rahmat Aziz Nabawi, to deliver the opening speech. Mr. Rahmat, please, time is yours. Okay. Then I'm sorry, we have uh, the problem, a little problem. Okay, Mr. Rahmat. Okay. Okay. Uh, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Uh, good afternoon. Uh, the Honorable Director of Universitas Negeri Padang, Prof. Kanevi. Uh, the Honorable the Dean of Engineering Faculty, Dr. Fahmi Rizal. The Honorable the Head of Mechanical Engineering Department. Uh, Mr. Purwantono, uh, with all lecture, staff, and committee, thank you for very much uh, for your hard work in organizing this event. The special one, uh, our speaker, Prof. Dr. Masato Tominaga. Welcome, Prof. Uh, from Saga University, from Japan. 
thank you Prof, for your sharing like dance and all respectable uh, attendant ladies and gentlemen first uh, of all uh, let you thank to Allah who is give uh, use everything good so that today we can see each other virtually here to join this event I give my big thanks uh, and appreciation to the committee who have worked hard to hold this symposium. Uh, this event is a SIG International Symposium, which is presented by Technomechanic Journal, organized by Department of Mechanical Engineering, Faculty Engineering, Universitas Negeri Padang. For your information, it is international journal, which is dedicated to improvement and dissemination of knowledge on method, tools, and technology in technical science. It's welcome contribution for all who wish to report on new development and less finding in engineering, new trend, and progress for practice in this file, thus creating unique forum for inter interdiscipline and multidiscipline knowledge. Uh, besides that, Technomechanic Journal published two issues years, uh, and is, has been in depth by Sinta, Google Scholar, Garuda, Dimension, and Crossref. So for, for everyone who has qualified article which fall within this area, please, Uh, do not is that to send the to techno mechanic do now for publication. Ladies and, inter, uh, ladies and gentlemen, it is symposium. We we will have outstanding speaker from Saga University from Japan, Professor Dr. Masato Tominaga will present here paper entitled Cellulosa Nanofiber Phylum from for bioelectric electrochemistry. The paper uh, contain update knowledge so that we can get new input and understanding from it. So everyone, please follow this symposium well and take a good uh, attendance of the question and answer uh, session. Plus, I am as uh, the managing editor of Technomechanic Journal. One more would like to welcome you all to this international symposium and hope that this event will be beneficial for everybody. Now, I officially open this symposium by Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Thank you. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Waalaikumsalam warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Uh, thank you very much for Mr. Rahmat Aziz Nawawi for the opening the symposium officially and introduce the Technomechanic Journal, which is uh, accredited in Indonesian Index. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, uh, next is uh, the presentation from our speaker. Uh, during the presentation, the audiences are welcome to deliver uh, the question in the chat column. And after the presentation, I will read your question or you can deliver uh, directly after the presentation. But, however, before our honorable speakers present his article, let me introduce him, uh, Professor Masato Teminaga. Okay, Professor Dr. Masato Teminaga is a currently a professor from uh, Chemistry and Applied Chemistry okay. Department from Graduate mm -hmm. School of Science and Engineering, Saga University. He received bachelor's, master's, and also doctoral uh, degrees in engineering from Kumamoto University. His current research interest is uh, in the electron transfer reaction of biomolecules at electrode interface, such as carbon nanotube modified electrodes, and its application for enzyme catalyst fuel cell and also microbial fuel cell. He's also award, uh, award uh, the Sikata Medals in 2008, the Polarographic Society of Japan with the title and also the, his uh, project, Study on Electrode Reaction of Proteins and Application to Functional Analysis. 
Currently, Professor Tominaga is a member of Japan Society for the Promotion of Science Jurai. That also short uh, biography from Professor Tominaga. Okay, after this, uh, time is yours, Professor. You can uh, present your research, please. Okay. Terima kasih atas si produk Heru Kanharan. Professor, we cannot hear your voice. <laughs> okay. Okay, can you see, can you see my slide? Okay. I can see your 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 presentation, your slide, but I cannot. We cannot hear your voice. Hello, no professor. Lisa. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Maybe my 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 device. Okay. Time is your professor. My voice is clear. Okay. Can you listen my voice? Yes, professor. <laughs> yes, professor. I can okay. hear your voice. Okay, thank you very much. Okay. So thank you very much for your kind introduction. Okay, so Namasaya Masato Tominaga, Nipasta Saga, Japan. So first of all, first of all, I would like to give my great thanks to Professor Sharil for giving give, for his, giving giving me this opportunity. And also Dr. Asuri Rizuki as a moderator. Uh, I'm very honored to have uh, this opportunity, uh, invited talk of uh, international seminar of Universita Negri Padang. Okay, today's my topic is cellulose nanofiber film platform for bioelectrochemistry. Okay, uh, at first I would like to briefly introduce my city, Saga City. So I think, oh. I think uh, many students is living in Padang here, and Japan is here. Uh, uh, Tokyo is here, Osaka is here. So maybe you know Kyoto. Kyoto is near to Osaka. So Saga City is located in south part of Japan. So Saga is located in Kyushu area. This is Kyushu area. So Fukuoka city is the largest city in the Kyushu Island. Saga city is located in local side, but very close to Fukuoka city. Uh, it takes uh, around you know, um, 40 minutes by car. So Saga city has a lot of uh, nature and uh, tradi uh, many traditional things. Uh, this is a photo of our campus. Of course, we have a four season. Uh, this is spring. Uh, this, is, uh, this is a photo in the campus. Summer. Summer is very hot. So usually, you no know, highest temperature is around 38 degrees Celsius. 38, very hot. And then autumn is very you know, um, good condition. And then winter, uh, we have uh, sometimes uh, we have a we have a snow sometimes like this. Uh, I visited Padang twice. My first visiting Padang was 2018 to attend the uh, International Symposium of Middle Eastern Chemical Engineering organized by. Universitas Bunhatta and ITS, Institute of Technology through November. I also I enjoyed the uh, site scene. I visited the uh, Mand Mand Monday Iceland, and uh, I enjoyed the uh, uh, Marine Sports. Oh, I was here. 
Okay. Uh, I have a, a four research project. One is the, uh, related to the uh, bioelectrochemistry. We use the enzyme as a catalyst for making a biofuel cell, the biosensor. A second, second one is the uh, microbiofuel cell. We develop the uh, microbiofuel cell for party fuel. Third one is the uh, development of electrochemical catalysis and the sensor by using uh, nanoparticles. Fourth one is the uh, conductive polymer tantal capacitor. This research is collaborated with Panasonic. Um, if you have an uh, interest in my research and the, our project, please contact to our laboratory homepage. I already in Bahasa Indonesia. Today's topic is related to the, this uh, project. So this is my talk outline. I would like to, first I would like to talk about the motivation, second, preparation of a cellulose nanofiber film electrode. And then I would like to talk about the enzymatic catalytic fuel cell and the gas sensor by using by using an enzyme. As far as the motivation. So do you know our skin releases uh, such a many kinds of organic compounds? Okay. So your skin releases uh, many kinds of organic compounds like this. Some organic compounds relate strongly relate to the disease and you are uh, physical condition. For example, so when I drink alcohol, so my skin releases the ethanol. And then if uh, the person has a diabetes, the person releases acetone much more than mm, normal condition. And then this compound is some special for the uh, lung cancer. So if we can detect the, uh, like this skin gas, we can monitor, we can monitor our condition. For example, acetone gas also uh, is released from our skin. So of course our blood, uh, the, the gas concentration is much lower than uh, blood concentration. For example, healthy person has like this concentration of the skin gas. And then diabetic person has higher concentration than healthy person. So if we can detect acetone gas, we can monitoring, we can monitor the, uh, our condition. But there are some uh, difficult problems. So the gas concentration is very low. So it means the, uh, the device requires high sensitivity. And also uh, skin gas is mixed uh, gas like this. So we need, we need to detect uh, specific, um, it's required a specific detection. Okay. So, I, to develop uh, like this device, I use enzyme, okay? So, of course, there are many you know, detection of a skin gas. Now, if you use a very expensive, very you know, uh, large, if you use a very expensive uh, large equipment, of course, you can detect the skin gas exactly. But, but that one is not you know, usual. No? Also, cost is very high. Uh, also, we can use the uh, fluorescence method and the semiconductor gas sensor. 
that's not, uh, this is not you know, useful for the IoT. Uh, I'm sorry, uh, this is the uh, IoT compa com compatibility. And uh, this X axis is detection limit, it means sensitivity. Yeah. And then if we, we can use the uh, quartz crystal microbalance method, you know, mm, this is a little bit low sensitivity. So our target device is like this place. So high, you no, know, high IoT com compatibility and you know, detection a little bit you know, higher uh, sensitivity. And then I want to prepare the wearable device. It means the, it requires the thin film device. And then they are they are used because skin gas concentration is strongly depends on the person, each person, right? So usually use is necessary to know our condition. So it means the, uh, the device requires a disposable chip. Also cost is not expensive. And the third one is uh, casual measurement. Maybe wireless communication is best. So this is a, this is a device image. The, we make electricity by using uh, enzyme as a catalyst, and then detects the uh, gas concentration. And then um, the data receives the uh, iWatch or uh, mobile phone, and then connect to the um, big data. And uh, as a big data, the data will be analyzed and feed back to our, feed back to the uh, iPhone and the iWatch. I like this you know, image. So the most you know, success uh, enzyme sensor is blood glucose sensor. As maybe you know, the market size is huge. And then uh, this is the uh, mobile type glucose sensor. And this is the uh, disposable electrode chip. Okay. And this price is about 100 Japanese yen. So one Japanese yen equal around 100 rupiah. Also, this uh, disposable, disposable chip market also very huge. So in this uh, sensor, like this enzyme will be used. And this is the mechanism of this uh, sensor. Okay, and this sensor use the enzyme. This is the enzyme. And then the sensor use the uh, mediator. A mediator is an electron shuttle between electrode and the enzyme. Okay. Uh, this is the photo of this uh, disposable chip. This is the detection part. The surface of enzyme is modified with enzyme and the uh, mediator, electron shuttle um, materia. And then, uh, so the enzyme can react with glucose in the blood. And then this enzyme oxidizes glucose. It means the, this enzyme takes electron from the glucose. And then this enzyme gives electron to the mediator. And then this mediator reacts with the uh, electrode. If uh, there are many glucose, uh, if glucose concentration is high, enzyme react with glucose faster. And then it means the, this electrode can detect uh, much electron. It means the, we can detect 
uh, higher current. This is the um, blood glucose sensor mechanism. Okay, so to achieve like this device, we need to develop the enzyme catalytic fuel cell and then, and then enzyme-based gas sensor. So what materials is suitable for making a disposable electrode? Plastic. So now uh, microplastic is problem in the world. So I selected cellulose nanofiber because cellulose, cellulose is biodegradable. Also, cost is not so high. And uh, the loss has uh, flexibility. I would like to make like this cellulose nanofiber film electrode. This gray part is cellulose film. And then I want to put the electrode like this. This electrode is disposable. Also good for the environment. And also this seat has a flexible, it means the uh, good for fitting to the skin. Also, this electrode can make roll-to-roll manufacturing, so like this. So it means we can reduce the cost. The problem is the uh, cellulose nanofiber does not have electronic conductivity. So to give uh, electron conductivity, I use, I, uh, I try to use kitchen black and multi-world carbon analysis. Okay. So next, uh, next is the preparation of a CNF film electrode. Okay. I use the uh, kitchen block and multi-wall carbon nanosite as a conductive material. Okay. Uh, we prepared a mixed solution of cellulose nanofiber and kitchen block for a multi-wall carbon nanosite. I prepared the dispersed solution by using a sonication method. To make a film, I use three methods, cast method, spray method, and the painting method. The cast method is just no, uh, we cast uh, this discharged solution on the Teflon sheet. Why I use the Teflon sheet? Because it's easy to um, replace from the uh, film. And then sometimes we use the aluminum plate. And the, in the painting method, I also use the Teflon sheet. To check the conductivity, I use the uh, cyclic voltammetry. This is an electro electrochemical method. This is an example of when I use the uh, big solution of uh, cellulose nanofiber and the kitchen block. Uh, this is a typical example of the film. Sometimes you know, we, can, we could not obtain the film. And sometimes uh, we obtain the, like this film. So in this case, um, it's very difficult to obtain the good uh, films. It's especially in this case, we could not obtain any redox reaction of this complex. It means the, this electrode is, you know, is not useful for the electrochemistry. So next is you no, know, I use, when, next I use the multi wall carbon nanosite. I prepare the uh, dispersed solution, a mixed solution of cellulose nanofiber and multi wall carbon nanosite, and cast 
on the Teflon sheet and dry it. Uh, in this case, uh, we can obtain the very nice redox reaction of this compound. It's complex. So this it means the, uh, this film can be used for electrochemistry. So, but you no, know, um, we need to tune the uh, best condition. So sometimes, to, so we obtain the like this cracked film. Uh, sometimes it's a very you no, know, uh, not flat film. Sometimes we obtain the very nice film. However, in this case, the thickness is little bit you no. Know, Mm, large. So and I analyze the uh, redox reaction of this complex by using a uh, simulation. Uh, this is the real cyclic voltam graph I, we obtained. And then this red dot point uh, is simulated result. So this simulated result is fitted well to the real uh, data, right? And then we decide the uh, diffusion constant, uh, electron transfer rate, and then we decide decided the active surface area. So it means the you no. Know, this film can be used for the uh, electrochemistry. And then I, we use the uh, spray method. A sol solution is you know, a mixed solution of cellulose nanofiber and multi-level carbon nanotube. Yes, in this case, we can obtain the very thin film like this. And the we obtain the uh, redox reaction to this complex. So it means the, uh, this film can be used for the electrochemistry. But in this case, there, there was some problem. So the problem is, you know, we need to prepare the um, much volume of mixed solution because uh, we use a spray method. Spray method requires a much solution volume. And the last one, uh, I tried to painting method. And then we I we obtain the like this film. The thickness is around 60 micrometer. And, and this is best um, thickness. So in this case, we use the uh, multi-wall carbon nanotube as a conductive material. And then we obtain the very nice redox reaction of uh, very cyanide. And uh, we simulate it like this. And uh, obtain the diffusion coefficient and the electron transfer rate constant. And the, we decided the active surface area. So it means also we can use this film as electrochemistry. So this is the uh, TEM, SCM image of the, our prepared the, uh, CNF multi-wall carbon nanotube film. The surface is like this. So uh, like a jutan structure. This is cross section of the film. You can see a layer, a um, very thin layer uh, seat. And please think about the uh, CNF uh, and multi-wall carbon nanotube character, characteristics. So multi-wall carbon nanotube is hydrophobic. And on the other hand, cellulose nanofiber is hydrophilic. But we can prepare the mixed and dispersed solution. So why? 
the result is like this. Uh, this is a TEM image of the uh, dispersed solution. So you can see a uh, many you know, uh, line, and this is the uh, cellulose nanofiber. Not a, not a single cellulose nanofiber. Cellulose nanofiber, you can see the bundled cellulose nanofiber. And then you can see you know, in the uh, cellulose nanofiber, you can see this you know, black color one is the multi wall carbon nanotube. This is multi wall carbon nanotube. So these multi wall carbon nanotubes are incorporated with cellulose nanofiber. That is why multi wall carbon nanotube can disperse in the cellulose nanofiber solution. It is strange, right? So cellulose nanofiber is a hydrophilic characteristic. So because our CNF cellulose nanofiber is treated by ACC uh, treatment method, our cellulose CNF is prepared by uh, ACC method. So what is the ACC method? No. ACC method use the uh, only uh, water, a very strong uh, uh, pressure of water, and cut off the uh, cellulose you know, material. In that case, we can obtain the uh, hydrophobic part and the hydrophilic part of the cellulose nanofiber. So it means the, uh, we can obtain both character characteristics of hydrophobic and hydrophilic. Like this, you no know, cellulose nanofiber characteristics is strongly depends on the treatment. Okay. If you if you can buy you no know, uh, cellulose nanofiber, I suggest you you check the how to prepare the uh, how to you know, prepare the I suggest you uh, so how to prepare the uh, CN, uh, CNF filler, CNF you no know. and this is uh, we prepare the CNF seed cellulose nanofiber seed. We change the mass fraction of multi wall carbon analysis. This is no, this number is no uh, weight percent of multi wall carbon nanotubes of CNF seed. Of course, zero percent, it means the, uh, no multi wall carbon nanotubes, only CNF. And then 10 percent, 20 percent. The finally, uh, 80%. In this case, no, uh, only 20% of CNF. So this is not flexible and very easily broken. And then we you know, measure the thickness of the film. The thickness is around you know, two, two zero micrometer. 20 micrometer. You use the copy film, copy a paper, right? You use the copy paper. The thickness is around 90 micrometer. Our, our prepared film is much, you know, many, uh, mm, very thin compared to, we, compared to the copy paper. Also, we calculated the seed density. So around you know, 0 0.4 milligram per square centimeter. The copy paper is you know, more weight, more heavy. And then we measured investigate, investigated the uh, resistance by using the impedance method. This is the real result of impedance measurement. 
Of course, only you know, CNA film, this film has a, a very high resistance. And then when CNA is a multi-wall carbon nanotube is incorporated around 10%, so its conductivity is much lower, you know, lower than one ohm. And then 20, 46% of multi wall carbon nanotube, the resistance decreases, decreases, decreases. And then we obtained like this figure. The resistance of a film and the mass fraction of multi wall carbon nanotubes. The, I think, you no know, best condition uh, is uh, around 40 or 20 uh, percent of multi carbon nanotubes because you no know, lower cons lower uh, resistance and the flex flexibility is also good. Okay, uh, my second visiting pattern was. Uh, 2019, three years ago, to attend the uh, international conference. And this conference is conference was organized by uh, UI. So I enjoyed the uh, my talk and I enjoyed the uh, pattern food and the sightseeing. And this is only three years ago but i felt that so long ago and then i visited the university at Bunhata. Uh, uh, at the time he was a lecturer of a university at Bunhata. now uh, now changed the lecture and then i also i had a uh, presentation international seminar at the Bunhata university I would like to move to the next topic. So enzyme catalytic fuel cell. So we use enzyme as a catalyst. Maybe you surprised. So this is the diagram of a biological redox potential. So enzyme, many enzyme has a redox potential. Many enzyme has active center. Active center has a potential, redox potential. This is a diagram. Some redox center has a higher potential. Some redox center has a lower potential. We connect each other, and then we can make a fuel cell. So for example, like this one. So this is anode. So oxidation reaction is occurred at the anode side. This action reaction is occurred at the cathode side. So this is electroconductive material. This surface is modified with some enzyme, and this surface is modified with some enzyme. And this enzyme can react with fuel. We can select you know, uh, many types of fuel. It depends on the enzyme, right? We can select the sugar, the alcohol, even uh, hydrogen. And then we can select the uh, enzyme to reduce the oxygen okay? and connect each other. And we can make a, a, a enzyme catalytic biofuel cell. I would like to show you demonstration. So this is a carbon felt electrode. The surface is modified with enzyme, okay? And the top one is uh, cathode. The bottom one is anode. We use two types of enzyme, okay? Uh, the fru fructose solution is located in the, uh, this uh, uh, dish. This is a fructose solution. 
the electrode size is one by one centimeter. And this is movie. Okay. I did not use any you know, metallic nanoparticles. I did not use any you know, metallic catalyst. I used only enzyme as a catalyst. Like this. Okay. So mechanism like this. The anode is modified with fructose dehydrogenase. This fructose dehydrogenase react with fructose. This enzyme take electron to take, take two electron, and then this enzyme uh, give electron to the electrode. And this, and then this electron move to the, move to the another side, the cathode, and then. At this side, we use the uh, lactase. Lactase can reduce oxygen to water. So at this side place, uh, there is a lactase. So lactase reduced oxygen by using uh, this electron. So this is the mechanism of this uh, fructose fuel cell. Maybe you, maybe you surprise. So many redox enzyme has an active center. This center, for example, like this enzyme can react substrate at this site. And then this enzyme has another active site. This enzyme react with oxygen. So at this part, oxidation reaction is occurred. At this part, reduction reaction is occurred. Okay. And then we replaced this side like this. We can you now control the enzyme activity by using electrode potential. So in this case, this is the last case. So we control the electro poten electrode potential. And this electro give electron to the this side, and then move to the another side, and then at this side, this enzyme reduce the oxygen. So in this system, we call we say bioelectrocatalysis. So, so in this case, enzyme can react directly with electrode. So in this case, we say direct electron transfer reaction because enzyme can react uh, electro can react with electrode directly. This method has some advantage. Simple structure, no separator, and effective for obtaining a high voltage. The problem is limitation of enzyme. Because you no, know, to achieve the direct electron, direct electron transfer reaction is very hard, not easy, and very strongly depend on the enzyme. So why? So this is a diagram of uh, electron transfer rate and versus distance in our body, in our enzyme. So this is the uh, electron transfer rate, okay? And the, this is the distance between enzyme, between enzyme, okay? So, Electron transfer rate is strongly depends on the electron transfer distance. So usually in our body, the maximum distance is around two zero angstrom. 
two nanometer. So otherwise, the electron transfer rate is very, very slow. So electron transfer distance is short. The electron transfer rate is very fast. So this is the equation. If you know, uh, the distance is 0.2 nanometer difference, the electron transfer rate change 10 times. So please think about three molecular, three, three water molecule length is one nanometer, just one nanometer. So the 0.2 nanometer is very you know, small distance, very short distance. Even this distance, the transfer rate is big, transfer rate is 10 times difference. So it means, you know, so electron transfer rate is strongly depends on electron transfer, uh, the distance between enzyme and the electron. So, okay, I will stop. We can select another method. We call mediated electron transfer. Okay, in this case, we use electron shuttle between enzyme and electron. This is a mediator. A mediator means electron shuttle between enzyme and the electron. So usually mediator is very small molecule, complex or organic compound. Okay. This is electron shuttle. So this mediator is small and can access to the active center of enzyme because it's small and then reduced and they react electron. So in this case, we can select many enzymes. But this advantage is you know, uh, sometimes separator is required and they are not effective for obtaining voltage. Of course, I, we, select, we need to select the mediator. Okay, so to achieve the uh, glucose fuel cell by using a CNF film, I selected uh, two enzymes, lactase and glucose dehydrogenase. Okay, lactase react with the oxygen. Uh, in this case, so we can select direct electron transfer type. This en enzyme can react with electrode directly. On the other hand, this enzyme cannot react with electrode directly. So we need to select the uh, mediator, right? Um, uh, this is the enzyme. And and this enzyme react with glucose. And then this enzyme will react with mediator, electron shuttle. And then electron shuttle will react with it and electrode. Like this electron transfer scheme. So this is the uh, case, result of case modified electrode. Okay. So we, at first we prepared like this, you know, uh, CNF, platform film, the surface is modified with uh, multi-wall carbon nanotubes. And then this surface is modified with lactase. You know, just you know, emerged in the uh, lactase solution, that's all. And we obtain the uh, lactase modified electrode. So this is a result. So you can see uh, if uh, under the uh, oxygen condition, we can see a large catalytic reduction current, reduction current at this potential. So it means the, uh, that this reaction is occurred at the electro surface. If we select argon gas, there is no such a 
there is no such a, a reduction current, right? So we can recognize for oh, this reaction is occurred at the electro surface. This is cathode. And then for the anode, uh, we prepare the uh, glucose dehydrogenase modified electrode. We selected the uh, penantolene kinome as a mediator, so like this structure, organic compound. So we prepare, prepared uh, conductive cellulose nanofilm, and then the surface is modified with the mediator, electron shuttle, and then we modified at the surface with a glucose dehydrogenase. Okay, and this is the result. So if there is no glucose, we can obtain redox reaction of uh, uh, this mediator. This peak is oxidation peak and the reduction peak. These peak is these peak are depend on the uh, this reaction, only this reaction. And then we no, mm, inject glucose, this oxidation peak is increased like this one. So this result showed, so electron move to this one and the, this one and the, this one, oxidation reaction, okay? So glucose is oxidized, enzyme reduced, and then enzyme uh, react with the mediator, mediator is reduced, and the mediator is oxidized at the electrode, like this reaction. So this oxidation current, current is increased. This is anode. Okay, to make a, a fuel cell, I use a two seat of, uh, I use two CNF seat. So one seat prepared like this. At first, we prepared uh, only cellulose nanofiber seat. And then to make an electrode, so we painted the uh, uh, mixed solution of uh, uh, multiple carbon nanotube and cellulose nanofiber. Uh, this black one is the electrode site. We prepared two seat of like this seat and connected to each other like this. And then we finally we obtained one, one seat of a fuel cell. The thickness is around six zero micrometer. So very thin. For making a, uh, uh, for modification of an enzyme, uh, uh, one side for the cathode, uh, Black case is cast on the surface and the dry. For the anode, uh, at first, we cast the phenantolin kinon, the mediator. Uh, we cast the mediator on the electro surface, and then we cast again the uh, enzyme, and then we prepare the anode. But this is both, the, this is the same seed. And then we obtained the right this no uh, card. So this is a real uh, seat, a photo of the real seat. So this side is no uh, anode. The other side is cathode. So anode side is uh, like this reaction is occurred. Glucose, enzyme, and mediator. At the cathode side, lacase is modified. Racket react with oxygen. No, oxidation reaction and reduction reaction. And we obtain the uh, electron flow is like this one. And then we obtain the like this, no, uh, electricity. Okay. I would like to move to the gas sensor by using enzyme. 
So, so in this case, we use the uh, 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 this is the gas sensor, but we so focus on the ethanol gas sensor. Okay. So in this case, we use the, the PQQ ADH. The PQQ ADH is uh, like this enzyme. Pyrrolokinoline kinone dependent alcohol dehydrogenase. Okay, this is from a special enzyme. This enzyme, when we use this enzyme, we can you know, make a um, direct, 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 directly electron transfer uh, mechanism uh, electrode. So we, in this case, we prepare the uh, you know, multi world uh, dispersed solution, and this we cast this solution onto the CNFC and dry, and then this electrode evades in the uh, enzyme solution, and then we obtain the, like this electrode. Okay, how to make a CNF seed? And also, um, we prepare the dispersed CNF seed by using sonication, and uh, we cast this dispersed CNF solution onto the uh, Teflon seed, and heat it and dry it, and we obtain the like this seed. Uh, to make an uh, uh, electrode, uh, we make a, at first we make a CNF sheet, and then we cast uh, multi wall carbon nanotubes on the uh, CNF sheet like this. So one, two, three electrode. So this is a photo like this. And then we check the gas detection by using a cyclic voltammetry. In this case, we use the like this you know, uh, type of device. We prepare the, like this device to detect a gas, ethanol gas. But anyway, at first I um, checked, investigated the in the solution, ethanol solution. So when we use PQQ ADH, we can obtain the like this, you no, know, very nice oxidation reaction based on the direct electron transfer reaction of PQQ with electron. Okay, so in this case, so we achieve the direct directly direct electron transfer of PQQ. Okay, of course, on another we ob we obtained another enzyme from yeast. So this is just ADH. In this case. We could not achieve uh, direct electron transfer between this enzyme and the electrode. We cannot obtain any you know, like this oxidation peak. So we selected uh, this enzyme. Okay, this is the uh, concentration dependence. So this is the ethanol concentration dependence. So Ethanol concentration is uh, lower. Yeah, this is like a, a calibration curve of uh, ethanol. So Y axis means the uh, current of this you know, catalytic current. And H, this axis means the concentration of ethanol. So current is depends on the ethanol concentration. But at this side, uh, the, the you know, reaction is almost saturated. Okay, I change the you know, uh, many concentration of uh, ethanol, and then this catalytic oxidation current is strongly depend on the ethanol concentration. Based on the based on this result. We use the uh, potential amperometer, potential amperometer detection. Potential electropotential was zero volt. Okay, so so this is not applied the uh, ethanol 
And then we apply the ethanol gas here, ethanol solution. We you know the current increase. And then again, we apply the ethanol to this concentration. The current is increased and then increased. So this is not you know, still you no know, initial stage, but uh, we can develop the, like this you know, C, uh, ethanol detection device. So this is conclusion. We can prepare the, uh, we prepare the uh, CNO by using painting method, casting method, and spray method. But you know, painting method is best. I think painting method is best for making a CNO film. And then by using a CNO film, we prepare the enzyme fuel cell and the enzyme-based gas sensor. So in the future, I want to develop like this you know, system. Now, this is the acknowledgement. So PQQ88 is obtained from the Kyoto University, my collaborator. A CNF obtained from uh, Chuet's Pulp uh, company. Uh, FAD uh, glucose dehydrogenase is obtained from uh, Ikeda uh, company. Um, and I also, I would like to thank you research funding from these you know, uh, Japanese Institute and the uh, our university. Uh, well, uh, I invited many students from in the, uh, out, outside, overseas, especially from Indonesia. So ITS and the, uh, this is the, from India and ITS. And then, yes. So final invitation was in 20, 20, 2020, because you no, know, after that I could not invite uh, the student and teacher uh, because they are COVID. So now I'm I'm planning to invite the student or a teacher from the Indonesia. So I invited uh, these uh, student lecture uh, as a Sakura Science program. So Sakura Science program is the uh, program to do experiments in my laboratory or, and also learn about the Japanese culture, uh, Japanese system. Yes, so we visited some traditional Japanese garden and uh, and tra traditional Japanese tea. Yes, like this. So my laboratory student is like this one, not so big group. So we have a three uh, graduate student. Uh, they, uh, all of them came from uh, Indonesia. And then all of the students has has a uh, uh, Japanese government fellowship. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you so much for your kind attention. Sorry, I could not, I cannot listen anything. My speaker is no good. I don't know. 
I cannot reason nothing, nothing. Okay, okay. It's howling. Hello, Professor, can you hear my voice? Uh, now it's okay. I can listen to your voice. Okay. We are really sorry for the mistake and also the problems uh, in audio. Okay, thank you very much, Professor, for your great uh, research and also your presentation. Now we will have a question and answer session. From the chat column, we have uh, many questions that interested in your research. Yes. First, uh, one, uh, can you see? Okay. Uh, from Far Farhan Hakim. How does the coating material that used to make the nanofiber conduct electricity did it break the microscopic skin of the nanofiber during manufacturing? That one is the first question, Professor, for you. Can you see the chat column, Professor? Sorry, I, I, sorry, I, I could not follow you. What? what? Please say again. We have the question. Yes, okay. Uh, from the chat column from Farhan Hakim. The oh. question is. The question is. Yes. Uh, how does uh, yeah. how does the coating material that used to make the nanofiber conduct electricity didn't break? the microscopic skin of the nanofiber during the manufacturing. How does what? Pardon? So, so the question is a preparation method, right? Yeah, how to avoid the break from the microscopic skin. Break? How you avoid, avoid the break from the uh, nanomaterial. Break, break. Break, 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 break. So I'm not sure. Um, okay. I I did not prepare the, ourselves. I uh the company provided me, so I use you no know, uh, cellulose nanofiber. So so I don't know ex I don't know exactly how to make a uh, no how to prepare the uh, CNF cellulose nanofiber. Okay, this one is, is okay? out of your range. Yeah, okay. okay. Yes. Can you get the point of your question? Thank you very much for your question. I'm sorry. Yeah. Thank you very much, Professor. There are so many questions that there is, where they are very interested in your research. The size of the pathway of electronics. Ah, this one is from Farhan Hakim. No, 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 no. Oh, no. So, nanofiber uh, cannot. Because, because it, uh, silicon, yes, if you know silicon surface, it's not a kind of way for semiconductor. The silicon surface with some conductive material such as a nanocarbon, it's okay. You can use the uh, silicon mod uh, carbon modified silicon as an electrode. It's my answer.
so, sorry, I, I, I can do no, nothing, 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 nothing. Can, can you see? Yeah, sorry, sorry, Professor. Okay, okay. Sorry. So for the next question, we move to another question, Professor? Yes, okay. Okay. This one from Rizky Emma Wulansari. Thank you. The background of the Rizky Emma is informatic education and computer science. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, they see I have a question. The question is, what kind of the research that uh, we can do in collaborating research between nanotechnology and computer science? Now this one is the question from the Rizky Emma Ulansari. Mm. Is your research part of the nanotechnology? Mm. Then what kind of the research that we can do in collaborating research between your research, nanotechnology so. and the computer science? Yes, thank you very much for your question. Yes, uh, yes, I think no, we can collaborate with the nanotechnology. Yes, you are department, but no, I I don't know computer science is possible or not. No, maybe maybe from maybe this uh -huh. maybe. maybe information maybe information science is maybe there is some possibility because you no. Know, after you no know, detecting the uh, data and then um, data should be processed to you no know, analyze. So in that case, you no know, computer uh, so analysis is next required. So yes, so making the electrode you no know, nanotechnology is required. So we can collaborate with the uh, nanotechnology. I think. But the basic of your research uh, to make auto or to produce the battery for energy, fuel cell energy, Professor, is it right? Yes, right. Yeah. So the focus of your research is to make a uh, green energy. Green energy, yes. Yeah. Green energy. Also, microbiofuel cell is green energy. Green energy. And you use yeah. the fructose. Fructose. As the yes. solu solution. How yes. about the molasse? Molasse is the waste, solid waste, uh, liquid waste from the sugar yes. industry. Yeah. Is it possible so, to make uh, it? Yeah, it's possible. If we can select, yeah. If we, we uh, when we, if we select some uh, no, suitable enzyme, mm -hmm. we can use the uh, waste uh, molasse yeah. as a fuel. As a fuel. Okay. Depends on the enzyme. It's possible. Possible because in Indonesia there are so many sugar industry. Yes, I know. I visited them. Yeah, I visited you know uh, such a company in Surabaya. Ah, yes, Surabaya. Yes. You have so many experience in Indonesia, right, Professor? Yes. How about the empty fruit bunch? Empty oh, what? Empty fruit bunch uh, as the source of the fiber. Fiber. Yeah. Uh, I I don't know. I don't know such fiber. Empty but, fruit bunch from the palm oil industry. Palm oil. I see. I see. Yes. Uh, maybe, maybe it's possible. How about your research, Professor? Uh, how is the how about the source of your fiber? Where do you yes. get the fiber? The material. The material I obtained from the, the company. Fiber. Company. Company. Yeah. The Japanese company you no know, provide me mm -hmm. as a material. Cellulose nanofiber. Oh, I, I from buy. I bought, I bought from the company. I bought the cellulose nanofiber cellulose from, from the company. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Thank you very much, uh, Professor. We move to another question, Professor. Yes, okay. Um, Lely Norma Fitria. Good afternoon, everyone. I am Lely from Chemical Engineering Department. I would like to ask Professor Tominaga about cellulose nanofiber. What yes, is the okay. best material to make CNF? For example, ah, this one is my, my question previously. 
For example, can we use oil palm tree waste empty fruit bunch from the oil palm industry? Uh -huh. uh, as we already know, oil palm in fiber was found to be a cheap source of nanofiber, where cellulosic waste is mm. already an abundant byproduct yeah. in Indonesia, yes. especially. I yes, I agree. I agree, but uh, I cannot, I cannot make a cellulose nanofiber myself. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but the basic oh, yeah. is can it can it can be. Yeah, it's yeah, it can be yeah. Because uh the. Because of Bunch, so, huh? yes, my uh, I use um, my cellulose nanofiber uh, made from bamboo. Bamboo, oh, bamboo, yeah. Uh, bamboo, you know, yeah so, yeah. so, yeah, so, palm, so oil palm tree also can be used to make a uh, uh, cellulose nanofiber. Is there any spe specific characterization uh, about the materials, the professor, such as uh? Lignocellulose is container cellulosic, hemicellulosa, has cellulose, no, no, no. and the lignin. Is there any specific uh, characterization which uh, material yeah. is, uh, is the best know. material? Yes, I don't know. I, I do not know exactly, but no, uh, we can use you know, uh, any type of material. Okay, any cellulosic yeah. material? Yeah. Even, even much. Mm, containing a uh, ligni also it's okay. Mm, okay, okay, okay. So in Indonesia, okay. so many fiber sources yes. in abundance yes. from oil yes. industry and also the from the sugar, yes. uh, pulp and pepper waste. Yeah, yes. But no, I, I, I'm, I'm sorry, I cannot support to making a, for making a CNA. <laughs> Maybe you sorry. can collaborate with us. In the next future, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> <laughs> to develop the cellulose cellulose uh, nanofiber. Yeah. Another question from Dian Dwi Les Lestari Letari. Yes. Uh, okay, maybe I can translate. She's from Polytechnic Akamigas Palembang in yes. Sosumatra. About the experiment that uh, she have done. Mm -hmm. How long? to take time to solve or finish the experiment about this nanofiber professor? How long you take your research to get the wonderful <laughs> okay. result? <laughs> okay. So my, no, thank you very much. My yeah. answer is no, depends on your skill. <laughs> Our skill. Of course, maybe of you course. Share, <laughs> maybe you can share uh, to us how, what, what kind of skill that we can, we can, uh, we can develop to get so, success as like yeah. you and your your so, team. Okay, just making a film, just easy. You can make, you know, um, one day, two days is enough. One day, two days is enough? Enough. <laughs> just for preparation, how yeah, about just, that? No, just a film, making a film. Oh, making a film. And how then, about uh -huh. and to, you know, to make an electrode, you no, know, to make an electrode on the CNF field, uh, maybe two days. Today's today's yes. and then days. most problem is the measurement electrochemistry measurement. Oh, measurement. How how long? Maybe one one weeks, one week. One week. Okay, it takes two weeks already. <laughs> yes, I think so. <laughs> if you if you are professional, the so one day is enough. One day. How about the analysis? Analysis. The one analysis. Is experiment. How about the analysis? On oh, one day is enough. One day is enough yes. for one sample. Yes. So if you have thirty sample, it means one month. <laughs> is that yeah, yeah, yeah. I think so. <laughs> <laughs> and then the Andrea study also asks, can professor could you share yeah. with us about the problems or obstacles that professor uh, have? during the experiment any obstacle Ob obstacles what? obstacle is a problem problem if you have any problem in during in doing your research okay yes yes but no but what uh, can be the problem as, as, I, as i mentioned you know cnf is you no know, strongly depends on the you know uh, cnf is you no know, kind of 
total name of the CNF uh, fiber. So the CNF fiber is strongly depends on the treatment, how to produce by using uh, treatment. Sometimes mm -hmm. the chemical treatment, some, mm -hmm. sometimes mm -hmm. mechanical treatment. No, so it strongly depends on the you know, treatment um, preparation method. So at first, I, I, I would like to suggest you at if you obtain the CNF, at first you need to check the how to prepare the CNF. The CNF characteristics, the CNF property strongly depends on the treatment, how to prepare. So I, I can share you a program, but you know, I don't know what kind of material you use. So my suggestion is not maybe correct or maybe not correct. Mm. I can suggest my CNA, oh, yes. but I don't know another CNA. That is my answer. Okay, thank you very much for your answer. Yeah, thank you very much. How about the solution or how to overcome your problem in your lab? Is there any uh, another problem? except the chemical treatment, physical treatment, is there any treatment to maintain your product in a good condition? Okay, so I, I can suggest you, when, if you prepare the CNA film, film, so you need to select the substrate. So I use the Teflon seed, right? So very, easy to peel off the film. Okay. So if you use the plastic seat, mm -hmm. CNF strongly bind to the you know, plastic surface, cannot peel off, cannot peel off. Oh, so should be coated with the plastic or polymer? Yeah, polymer, yeah. So oh, but, I'm, uh -huh. Teflon, I, I think Teflon seat is best. Okay. How about the dry wrinkle? Dry? Dry ring, wrinkle, wrinkle. Wrinkle, what is wrinkle? wrinkle crude, crude, what we call it. Wrinkle. Not smooth surface. Ah. Your fiber, your okay. filter in not smooth, unsmooth uh, surface. Smooth, yes, smooth surface is better. Ah, smooth super surface. Yeah, yeah, but smooth your, surface is better. If you use the plastic, how to overcome the unsmooth surface in your filter? No, no. I use the very flat surface plastic. Oh, that's plastic. Okay. Yeah, I use the very flat surface plastic. Okay. Even 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 in that case, you no know, CNF strongly you no know, bind to the plastic, okay. cannot peel off. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Very strong. So you 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 use the plastic to keep or to maintain uh, the fiber. Mm. So I usually. So always, I we use the Teflon seat. Teflon seat. Teflon seat. How about the uh, the characteristic or the result? Is that any effect if you use the plastic? No, no, no. No, no. So yes, to you no, know, um, for for electrochemical measurement, I we use plastic. Oh, okay. So plastic. But finally, you know, uh, I remove the plastic. I want to remove the plastic. Oh. I, I want to use only CNF and the nanocarbon. Oh, see, I, I get the point. So you okay. use the plastic just for the analysis? Yes, just analysis. In the implementation or application, you, you, do not, you didn't use the plastic. Just yes, use the CNF. Yes. Oh, okay. It's my dream. Okay, thank you very much okay. for, your, for, your, for your share about the plastic. Is there any question from the, from the floor? Yes. Yeah? You can raise your hand. Okay. We continue uh, another question, Professor, from once again from the Farkan Hakim. Maybe he's interested uh, in your research. Pardon me, Professor, I have another question. In yes. this nanotechnology, specifically this uh, CNF, does photoray 
and energy react with this technology? Does it affect it in it anyway? Uh, I don't know exactly because I have never used photon ray and the you no know, such a method. So you 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 didn't uh, you didn't conducted that research. Yes, yes. Uh, I have never used such a uh, technique. So uh, I don't know. I don't know. We can no. use one not. I don't know. Never I'm sorry. Uh, I'm sorry, uh, Farkan Hakim. Uh, maybe your question is out of the scope of the professor's research. So uh, he didn't uh, give you the correct answer or the appropriate answer. Maaf, mm -hmm. Pak Farhan Hakim, karena Profesor uh, Tominaga tidak melakukan riset seperti yang uh, Pak Farkan Hakim tanyakan, sehingga Profesor tidak bisa memberikan uh, penjelasan lebih lanjut terhadap pertanyaan Pak Farkan Hakim. Uh, another question from the floor. You can raise your hand before we move to another question in the slide. No. Uh, Zulkanain, your please. Time is yours. You can ask uh, the question directly to Professor. Oh, my is off. My is off. Your mic is off. Microphone. Mute. 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 You can unmute your microphone first, uh, Mister Zulkanain. Okay, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Good Hello. afternoon, Mr. Uh, Professor Masato Tominaga. Hi. 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 <laughs> Long time no see. I met you in ITS in 2016. I'm one of the Freddy student. Yeah, I remember. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> nice Thank to you meet much. you, Professor. We're kind of joining. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Yes. Uh, uh, professor, I... Uh, I think this good good presentation for the Thank Indonesian student. Mm -hmm. This is uh, about the sensor. Mm -hmm. I have the question about the enzyme. Yeah. Uh, what kind of enzyme uh, mm. for the selective electrode? Enzyme. Yeah, enzyme. Yes. Yeah. What so kind of enzyme mm. uh, good for the selective uh, electrode? Oh, <laughs> okay. Thank you very much. Uh, this is a very good question. So, 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 I, mm, I don't, I do not have a, I do not have a technique for preparation of enzyme. Okay, so preparation to extract enzyme from the some you no know, material plants and the uh, some animal. I don't have. So I need to buy uh, enzyme from the company. Or I obtained from another research institute. So yes, and then if I can buy enzyme, it's more easier, right? But so, but the there is some limitation. If I cannot know obtain some uh, no suitable enzyme, I find I I find uh, some uh, I find enzyme. I, I find the some collaborator. In Japan, yeah, and then so I can guess. Oh, this enzyme is useful for direct electron transfer reaction, but no. So exact. I know. So the so finally, I need to check the uh, it is possible or not. So in actual experiments, I can guess. And I also I can refer the another paper. Okay, so uh, this enzyme can react with uh, electrode directly or not. We can know text um, another paper. If no, we can uh, I I cannot find you know uh, any 
uh, suitable enzyme for direct electron transfer reaction, uh, I use the uh, mediator. Mediator. So this is this is my scheme for choosing an uh, enzyme. Uh, do you understand? Oh, mute, mute, mute. You still mute, Mr. Zurkanayan. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, mute. Please unmute, unmute first. Mm. Okay, okay, I'm sorry. Yeah, because from the operator, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, I got it. Uh, this is very good because uh, enzyme in Indonesia, uh, a lot of the enzyme from the natural. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe Indonesia different with uh, Japan. Japan yeah. has a lot of the uh, enzyme, mm. but Indonesia don't have that. Mm. So maybe one day we can make the collaboration, Professor, about yeah. the enzyme for the electrode. I hope you you always success. Yeah, thank Professor. you very much. Thank you oh. very much. <laughs> what, what, <laughs> what are you doing now? I'm a lecturer in the Bungkulu. Bungkulu is one of the pro province in the Indonesia. This near from the Padang. Near from Padang. Near from. Oh, Padang. so lecture of uh, chemistry. 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 Uh, oh, really? And oh. also in the uh, sensor, because oh. uh, I met you around the twenty sixteen, right? Sixteen. Oh. You, you go to the uh, Surabaya. Yes. Yeah, after that, I go to Italy. I go to Italy for the research. Uh, oh, for, yeah. yeah, about the nanoparticle. Gold yes, nanoparticle. Yes, yes. Mm. After I that. Uh, but. <laughs> yeah. but no. Okay, sorry. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> at that time, you were so young, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're, <laughs> sorry. So we, can collaborate. We, we can collaborate because uh, Japan has so many enzymes. And Indonesia yes. has so many uh, fiber. Yeah, yeah. So, yes, uh, yes. Fiber. I think so. Okay, thank you, Professor. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Thank you very much, <laughs> Professor Taminaga, and also Mr. Razul Kanain. This is a really interesting research that we can collaboration between many universities in Indonesia. Right. Uh, Mr. Razul Kanain from the Universitas Bengkulu near to Padang and also from the Saga University. Now, uh, is there any follow-up question, uh, Mr. Zulkarnain? Okay, we move to another question, Professor. These two uh, questions I already uh, discussed with you. We mm -hmm. move to the third question. Yes. This one is a follow-up question. Uh, since you explained that uh, enzyme has the limitation, mm. how will you overcome this, uh, solve this problem, this limitation? So, 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 I like, a, I like a, you know, the reaction. So directly electron transfer reaction because, you know, very simple method. So if you no, know, I cannot find uh, such as enzyme, I use the mediator. Mediator. Oh. Electron shuttle. Electro so yeah, in that case, we can use many enzymes. Also, but you no, know, we need to select you no know, suitable uh, mediator, effective mediator. Uh, mediator. Yeah, is, uh, that is, that uh, is depends on the enzyme. Yeah. So one, this enzyme is good for the uh, this enzyme, but this enzyme and this mediator is not for another enzyme. The mediator is strongly depends on the enzyme. So I we at first we need to find the uh, mediator. How about the mediator? The mediator should uh, should uh, uh, sugar base uh, sugar base, or can we use the mediator uh, electrolyte? Mediator is, you know, uh, usually, you know, complex or uh, organic compound. Organic. Yeah. Organic solution. Organic compound. Organic so compound. You, so, okay. uh, uh, so you're talking about the mediator, right? 
Yeah, the mediator. Yeah, mediator is you know, huh? uh, mediator is a name of an uh, electron shuttle. So, so usually mediator um, is uh, organic uh, complex or a small organic molecule are used as a mediator. Mediator. Okay. Uh, so but we need to find the mediator. Okay, so you use the mediator, if not mistaken, fructose, right, Professor? Yeah, yes, yes, that's right. That's what I asked you, how about the molas, the yes. uh, waste, liquid waste from the sugar industry? Yes, but the molas is no, uh, molas is no sugar, right? Sugar is, uh, I think, no, uh, glucose and the fructose, bind each other right yeah yeah so in this case no uh, fructose so we need to select the uh, we need to use the enzyme to decompose uh, this molas okay. to separate fructose and glucose. okay okay and then we can use the uh, enzyme to react with fructose mm. uh, or to react with the glucose. Yeah. Because yeah there is an enzyme to decompose. Because each uh, enzyme has uh, each uh, mediator, sir, uh, professor. Uh -huh. uh, there are another question from Firman Ardiansha. Hello, Professor Tominaga. I'm a Firman from Surabaya. Again, from Surabaya. Yes. I'm very interested <laughs> with your research related to mud battery. Mud battery. battery, okay. Yeah. My question is, what is your major obstacle or problem when you implemented mud battery in the field or in application? Okay, okay. Is there it any is... problem in, in okay. application? Uh, I understand uh, your question. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so so we I applied um, MFC microbiofuelcell to Paddy field. Okay, so MFC microbiofuelcell um, is composed by anode and cathode, two electrodes. Okay, so so two electrodes, so anode should be uh, under the ground. Cathode is uh, in the water surface, surface water. And then if you no know, the anode distance between anode and cathode is large, there is a high ohmic ohmic resistance between the um, paddy field water is not containing much uh, salt, much ion. It means the, there is very limited the uh, ion conductivity between anode and cathode. So you need to reduce the uh, resistance between all the castle. That is a very important point. So could, did you understand, do you understand my talk? <laughs> Maybe. Yeah, 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 really, really. Uh, thank you very much, Professor. We are understand. Uh, but then we, we have another question. Oh yeah. Uh, how about the another question? Yes. Any question from the floor, please? Another question? Uh, we have another question, Professor. Do if from Purba Sutarto? Yes. Good evening, Professor. Good evening, maybe in evening in uh, his area. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm Furba from the university, another university, wants to ask you about CNF. When CNF is used and for what is the best with the economic value? Economic value? Yeah, Econ maybe economic value is uh, about the implementation or application. What is the application for your research or for CNF? Application for CNF. Yes, so now, so Japanese company used the CNF 
、so、now Japanese company is developing a how developing a how to use the CNF more efficient. So so CNF is no so this is you know、um, like a pulp like a wood. So it means very you no know, weight but strong. Mechanically strong. So, some Japanese company prepare the salmon of.、Mm, I, I, I don't know what to say. Some of the no, mechanical things by using a CNF、oh. weight and、uh, very easily for making a、uh, no, mm, shape. Uh, maybe I think you no know, 3D printer can be used、uh, and use the CNF solution.、Mm. For the coating, then, Professor, how about the coating? Coating, coating? coating? yeah, maybe it's possible. Yeah, coating uh, will also uh, avoid the corrosion. Yes, possible. Yeah. Yes, it's possible. For the coating, possible for the battery.、Mm. Part of the battery. I think so. I'm not sure. So you are you still in the basic research for developing、uh, this material? Is it possible to, to make、uh, to make it、um, composite? Composite material. Composite, composite, composite material. So okay. Yes, and F. So the professor,、uh, your your research is still in the fundamental research. Oh yes, still in the pilot plant. You so you you haven't tried your 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 result in implemented in the industry. I don't know. <laughs> It,、uh, I don't know now. Yes. Maybe if, if some is if somebody if if you no know, there is some company、mm-hmm. uh, can collaborate with me maybe I can you no know, I can I can develop the more、uh, um, using a CNF but you no know, I'm so busy now so I cannot have the time. <laughs> That's me. <laughs> How what, what do you think, Professor? What is the best application for your research? Such as、uh, we have already、uh, for me, discussed for, me, for you in your opinion. For me, okay, for me, so、uh, film, CNF film. Oh yes, they can see in a film. So this is electro is the one you no know,、uh, application. The、mm-hmm. film. So the best one is the coated, uh, coating for the corrosion. Um, uh, I'm 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 not a researcher for the、uh, corrosion. So I don't know. I cannot say anything, but maybe. So yeah, inhibitor in, in, inhibitor of the inhib inhibitor for the ah、uh, inhibitor for yeah, CNF can act as an inhibitor for corrosion. Corrosion. Hmm. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> so、uh, this is this is a very interested、uh, research and should. Research many research for for in the future to make it uh ready in industry. Is that right? I think so. I think so. Yes,、yeah. there are there are so many application by using a CNF. Just to depend on your idea. <laughs> I think so. <laughs> I don't know. You can you can you obtain CNF film in Indonesia? I don't know. Yeah, we have a we have a, some application in use the CNF because、oh, really? one of our research center、mm. energy mm. also、uh, develop the fuel cell. Oh really? Oh good, good.、Mm. Uh, the CNF maybe、mm. maybe can be as the, the part of our our research. Oh great.、Mm. <laughs> Thank you very much, Professor. Another question from the column chat. I see no question anymore. How about the floor? Is there any question? Yurika Putri, please. 
if you want to deliver your question directly to the professor. Yes, please. Yes, please, Yurika Putri. Hello? Yes. Ah, okay. The time is yours, please. Okay. Uh, good afternoon, Prof. Can you see her? Hello, professor? good afternoon, Prof. Selamat siang. Ah, selamat siang. Oh. Selamat, siang. selamat sore, Prof. Selamat sore, Prof. <laughs> okay, Prof. Uh, uh, my name is Yurika from Batam. Uh, I have one simple question for you. Uh, have you tried this nanofiber for batteries, Prof? Uh, I have never tried. But very interesting. I have, but I have never tried. Is it okay? Yeah. Yeah, from our yeah. previous uh, discussion, we already discussed about the battery and also the implementation mm. uh, from the professor result. Mm. The professor research still in the basic to develop the film. Oh. Uh, mm. Maybe oh, yeah. in the future we can uh, oh. implement it or ap uh, apply it in the battery and another. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. So, the... thank, thank you very much for your question. So, your battery means the uh, so lithium battery and the uh, lead battery like this. You you talking about such a battery, right? Yeah. yeah. Since uh, your presentation about the battery uh, in the previous presentation, uh, your video. Okay. Mm -hmm. So they, they they think that your your research already implemented in making a product a product for production in the in battery. Mm -hmm. So it's still yeah. in the, the basic professor. Mm. Oh yes. Okay. Thank, Thank you, you Prof. Thank you very much, Miss Yurika Putri. Another question? Uh, maybe just that. How about the committee committees? We have still another time to open the discussion session. Alhamdulillahirobbilalamin. Because the time is over, and also there is no question anymore in the chat box and also in the floor in these opportunities we are we are very thankful to the professor tominaga uh, for your time and also for your contribution your sharing your sharing your knowledge and also your research in this uh, symposium here is uh, your certificate as our acknowledgement for you, Professor, this uh, certificate will be sent directly to your email and also to your WhatsApp number. Uh, thank you so much. Thank you very well, much. Welcome, Professor. For the participant, uh, your certificate can be downloaded from the our website, journal website, Technomechanic uh, website. So you can access our website, Journal Technomechanic website, and also the articles. Uh, our professor article will be will be ready in the next issue, inshallah. The article about this uh, symposium will be ready in our journal, Technomechanic journal, in the next issue. So please uh, stay tuned in our website and also update the information in our website. Okay, Professor, it's a very thankful and also it's our pleasure from the Universitas Negeri Padang have you as a speaker, a great speaker in our symposium for the next future. We hope we have the collaboration, not only research, but also joint publication. For, uh, yeah, I, want to, I, I, will, I want to visit the Padang again. Oh, really? <laughs> Professor? <laughs> Because not only in uh, not only Bung Hatta in Padang mm, also yeah. we have a Universitas Negeri Padang. As yeah. your information, yeah. basically I am a chemical engineering. Uh huh. I see. So, so now, how about hmm? the university? University is open the face to face education, face to face class. Pardon, professor. So uh, uh so so in the Padang. So can you? 
have a class face to face. Yeah, yeah, already But for the already. yeah for 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 the laboratory mm -hmm. we have a face to face. But in oh, the right. in mm -hmm. the module in the theory we have uh, online and also we have a, a face to face uh, learning process. I see, I see. Okay. Mm, thank you. Thank you very much, Professor. Uh, in the next, uh, in the next uh, time, we can uh, join collaboration and also publication as the first mm. author or, or the corresponding author. Mm. Is it okay for you, Professor? Uh, I'm, I'm, I, I, at first, I want to be there. <laughs> <laughs> Please contact us if you are in Padang. Oh, thank you, Professor. Yes. Don't forget to contact us if you are in Padang. <laughs> Please inform us. We are very happy to have you here. <laughs> okay, okay. I need yes, I need to visit the Universitas Bunghata also. Yes, I want to visit the yeah. Okay. Uh, Universitas Negri Padang. Yeah, we are happy yeah. to hear if you are in Padang. Don't forget yeah. uh, us in the future. <laughs> Thank you very much uh, for your attention. Uh, your, your attention and also your contribution, very big contribution in our journal, Professor, and also for yes. the participant. Thank you very much for your time enjoying this uh, symposium. Finally, uh, in, the, in the behalf of the Technomechanic Journal, the committees, editor-in-chief, managing editor, and all of the member, and the committees, we are very thankful for you, Professor. Uh, we hope this is not the end of the our symposium. We hope uh, we have another collaboration in the, the future. Yes. Yeah, thank you very much, Professor, for your time. For the participants, please don't forget to fill up the link of the uh, uh, attendance list so you can get your certificate. Mm. Thank you once again. Thank you very much, Professor. See you in the next uh, symposium. And also, see you... See you. Uh, see you in the next collaboration. Yes. Thank yes. Thank you very much, yes. Yes, you very much for uh, for all of the uh, <laughs> seminar committee for yes. this, this. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You are welcome, Professor. And also, we are very sorry. 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 If there is so many uh, obstacles and also so many leakage in the this symposium. Finally. Hmm. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. See you in the next uh, symposium, Professor. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Good afternoon, Professor. Yes. Yes. See you. See you again. Okay, See you. Oh, Bye. See you in the next uh, symposium. We will yeah. announce it in the website, our website, Jutun Techno Mechanic Journal. See you. Hmm. See you. Bye bye. Bye bye, Professor. <laughs> nice to meet you, Professor. Yes. <laughs> <laughs>